Okay, in plants and animals, cells go through the process of division, and it can be through mitosis or meiosis, depending on what end product they're producing. Mitosis is going to produce two identical copies of the original cell. Meiosis is going to produce gametes, such as pollen or egg. Now, cell division results in increasing the total number of cells. And I said there's two different end products. The gamete or sex cell production is through meiosis, and identical copies would be through mitosis. Now, meiosis produces four total cells that are genetically different with the goal to produce new offspring. These are cells that are producing either pollen or egg cells. There's actually two phases of division, and that's how you go about getting the four total cells in the end. Um, what's happening is the chromosomes are spreading out and being pulled to different poles, and then the centromeres are breaking, causing different copies to be resulting in the end products to increase genetic variability of the offspring to increase ideally the odds of survival. Now mitosis is a little different. Mitosis is cell division resulting in two identical cells from the original that is a result of typical plant growth. By, by and large, mitosis occurs much more frequently. As the cell multiplies, it's inheriting the same chromosome and genetic material as the original cell. If it doesn't, that's what we call a mutation that would occur. Uh, ideally, there's no differentiation from the original, uh, and that mutation typically ends poorly for the cell. So there's steps and measures in place to allow cells to divide, but allow them to divide in a way that helps ensure they have the same genetic material as the original cell. Meristematic tissue is found at the shoot tip. This is the growing tip here, and also at the, just behind the root cap. So this is a root, a microscopic view of the root. These meristems are a site of high, high rate of mitosis. You can think about that logically. The apical, the very top meristem, is a site of growth because that's where the plants can be growing upward. And the root area is also going to be a high rate of cell division because that's going to serve as that root growing through the soil to increase the plant's ability to absorb water and nutrients. The root cap here is just a protective structure uh, that pushes through the soil so if it comes in contact with rocks or some other debris, uh, it's not damaging this very sensitive and important area of mitosis. Cell elongation occurs. So this is uh, looking at the root. We just talked about the ap apical meristem. Uh, plant growth is not as a result of cell division. Here, elongation. Here, the root's growing by those same cell, same number of cells, simply stretching. Um, this allows the plant to grow in size. As root cells elongate, the pressure pushes the root through the soil. And in the apical meristem is where you're getting more cells, and then they'll elongate in this area. Now, cell differentiation, this allows cells to take on a very specific function depending on where they're located in the plant. So just as you originated from one cell, and cells in different areas took on parts of the circulatory system or nervous system, the same thing happens in plants. For example, cells in leaves may take on the function of uh, producing food. Cells in the um, stems may take on vascular tissue, and cells in the roots may take on the very important task of water and nutrient absorption. And all this occurs, this differentiation occurs after division, this allows those cells to become specialized to perform a function.